Alrighty, what I'm going to show you here is this is the tester that you can get from Honda for testing ethanol in your fuel. It, this is the actual tester and it comes with a little plug that goes in the end. Actually this is from an aviation tool company or something and they give you this screwdriver thing on the end and uh, you got a straight slot and a Phillips head but that doesn't really matter this thing. It does make it a real pain in the butt to, to uh, stand it up so what I do is I put a clamp on it like this. What you have here, and you'll see a million different YouTube videos on it, and I think the one from Mercury Marine is actually better because it's a bigger tube and it's easier to read. What you have here is graduated marks. First mark on here says water. Right now I've got water in there, and it's at the level to begin the test. Then there's 5%, 10%, 20%, 25 and 30% that you will be able to test for ethanol or alcohol in your fuel. So now that I've got the water in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up to where at the very top here it says fuel. So. I'm going to take a little cup of fuel here and pour it in the top. Now this is totally untreated fuel that I just purchased. As a matter of fact, I have to stick on my reading glasses because it's all so small. Okay, looks like I could use just a little more fuel. Okay, that's that. Now you have the water underneath filled up to the, the, the measurement level. You've got gasoline on top of it. Totally untreated gasoline straight out of the pump. Okay, and then what you do is you agitate it. Okay. And it's going to get real cloudy. As you can see, it's super cloudy. Then what you got to do is you got to let it sit and it'll separate down the bottom. I'm not really sure if you can all see this, but down the bottom will be the water. In between will be a bubbly I don't know. It almost looks like a jello kind of line and it'll dissipate. It'll go away and then you'll still have your fuel on top. Then what you do is you look at the marks after this has been sitting for a good long while. 15 minutes I guess is good. I let mine actually sit overnight and with treated fuel from my Raycor fuel filter I saw that after I've put Startron in it, I've actually seen that I was running straight into my engine, into my Honda right here. I was running 5% ethanol. Now that's after, I don't know if the Startron had anything to do with it. Okay, That's the reason now from the same gas station, I'm going to be testing the fuel straight out of the pump. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes. I'm going to clamp it up here, just let it sit, and then I'll be back with you with the results. Alrighty, it's been about 15 minutes. Now the whole reason that I wanted to really try all this is because I wanted to, I was really curious just to see, and I'm going to do it through various gasoline stations and everything, so what kind of fuel am I actually running through my Honda? Well, like I said, I dumped my Raycor fuel filter and what I did is 
had the had the initial treatment of Startron, which is the enzyme stuff they talk about, um, in the fuel. And I was hoping to see reduced ethanol. And what it was, is according to the tester, it was, it turned out to be 5% ethanol. Okay. Now, I just got it out of the, out of the gas can, just came back from the Exxon, Exxon Mobil station. And I'm testing the fuel now. It's been sitting. And if I stick on my reading glasses, and you got to hold this as level as you can, looks like the ethanol level still is 5%. Now, there right here at the tip of my finger is where the water level is. Down here is where I filled up the water, okay, and then that's how much, that's 5% ethanol in there right now. Now, the only real difference I can see is from when I had the Startron in there, the layer between the water or ethanol and the gasoline sitting on top of it looked different. Now that's after that that uh, Startron was in my tank for several days sloshing around doing everything and then I pulled it out of the Raycor. I don't know exactly what this Startron is supposed to be doing. Okay, but that is exactly 5% ethanol in the Exxon gas station down the street from my house. Now, like I said, if you go to the Mercury uh, parts people, Mercury dealer, they got a little easier to read test tube, and you can also see that on, uh, on YouTube. This one's a little bit harder to read. Yeah, it comes with a fancy screwdriver thing on the bottom. I might get myself the Mercury one and uh, keep one at home and keep one in my, in my truck. So, that's it. And what I'll do is I'll let this sit for a day or two and just keep checking it to see if anything rises or falls. Falling, I don't believe, will happen. Rise, I believe, could happen. So that's that. Your ethanol testing.